I'm Pete Zielinski. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson. We're with Additive Manufacturing Media. And we are here at the Oak Ridge National Lab, specifically in front of the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility, and we're standing in front of a really cool demonstration of additive manufacturing technology. This is Project AME, A-M-E, the Additive Manufactured Excavator. The Oak Ridge team developed this at the urging of the National Fluid Power Association. There are three key 3D printed parts inside of this excavator. First up, the heat exchanger. If this fails, the engine doesn't run. The heat exchanger 3D printed for this excavator was made through powder bed fusion on a Concept Laser X-Line 1000 printer. It's made out of aluminum and it weighs just 13 pounds. It's a replica of the original heat exchanger, but without any assembly. Next is the cab. The design that you see here was created by a team of college students and it was 3D printed on the BAM, the Big Area Additive Manufacturing System. It's made of carbon fiber reinforced ABS and was printed in just five hours. Finally, the stick. This is the part that connects the boom to the bucket and allows the machine to dig, move material around, do all the things that an excavator needs to do. Conventionally, this part would be a bunch of metal plates welded together with hydraulic lines attached, but here it was printed in just one piece and the hydraulic lines are built right in. The stick is seven feet long, it weighs 400 pounds, it was 3D printed out of steel using a wire arc 3D printer developed by Wolf Robotics, which is now part of Lincoln Electric. So my understanding is you've been in one of these before. I have. My parents owned a construction company and I've actually operated an excavator a little bit before, but never one with 3D printed parts. All right, so you got to show us if it works. Okay. So will excavators be made this way in the future? Maybe, that's not really the point of this demonstrator. This was mostly a demonstration to show that additive can deliver these really large, really critically important components, whether for an end use application or for something else. Actually, this excavator has a lot to say about tooling. If you look at the stick with those embedded hydraulic lines, it's not that different from maybe a hot stamping die with conformal tooling built in. So this excavator actually um, shows a lot that 3D printing can do. Thanks again to Oak Ridge National Labs and the MDF for letting us come out here and play with the excavator. And that's the scoop on Project Amy.